Hi, my name is Don John Domenico, and I'd like to demonstrate for you my newly completed diesel mini bike. Uh, there have been several diesel mini bikes created through the years on YouTube and various websites. Uh, and I thought if I build another one, it's going to be old hat. However, I wanted to make something that was really clean and uh, featured a three horsepower diesel, which most uh, feature like a 10 horse, like a Yanmar style engine. The engine that I'm using is a Gen 10 165F diesel engine. It's got a 65 millimeter bore with a 60 millimeter stroke that comes out to about 200 cc's. The engine has a cast iron block, a one piece cast iron cylinder, aluminum piston with a steel connecting rod, aluminum head with a cast iron insert for the swirl chamber. It has a conventional high pressure diesel injection system and a diesel injector on top of the engine. On this side we have the belt drive. Uh, the ratio is about 1 to 1.3. So as the engine turns slower RPMs compared to a gasoline engine, it has enough uh, RPMs to engage the clutch. This is a little generator I added to the bike. Uh, I utilized a NEMA 23 stepper motor and it goes through a series of bridge rectifiers to make about 3 amps of power at 12 volts. At low RPM it'll drive both the headlight and tail light and it'll also operate a horn. This is the jack shaft assembly with the centrifugal clutch. It has a 12 tooth sprocket and the main sprocket has 60 teeth so it's about a 1 to 5 ratio. So we're kind of stepping up RPMs and then dropping them back down to the rear wheel. This makes the clutch work more efficiently at the power band where it engages. The seat sits on a isolated subframe that has rubber insulators in the front and in the back, which help to reduce the vibration induced by this engine into the rider and also the fuel tank. You can see that the fuel tank is part of that system. This is the compression release valve that's on top of the valve cover. This allows you to get the engine turned up so you can, you can uh, start the engine. And I've created a remote on the handlebar so that I can stop the engine and also aid in starting it uh, without having to reach on top of the valve cover to get it started. Starting this particular engine is kind of unique. It requires a hand crank, which is unlike the recoil starts of the other engines. I have a little holder here for the hand crank. You kind of start it up like a Model T, which I kind of like a lot. You put the crank in and I can depress the compression release and I can get it spun up.
And there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.